You think I would survive in prison? Not this prison. <laughs> not, not? not at Litchfield. <laughs> not Litchfield. 500 women. <clears throat> and you in the middle? What? Oh. I think you'll be thrilled to um, hear that I had a dream about you last night. Oh! Yeah, and we had this interview and the room was filled with exotic flowers and plants and you told me to water the plants. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you think it means? What's up with that? Life. 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 Mm. It's all about life. It's all about life. Who told you to water the plants? It was you. It was me. <laughs> it was you. Interesting. Death. Death. Yeah. Oh, then it means oh, death. Okay. I get it, I get it. Well, it's good to see you both. And ever since... It's good to see you too. Yeah, it is, Michael. It's so good to see you. There are flowers. Well, ever since seeing the show, I've been absolutely terrified of going to prison. I mean, I'm a good guy in general, but still, now I'm extra cautious. <coughs> and if you two were to go to prison, save for maybe stealing the show on mm. Orange is the New Black. Oh, that's so cute. What kind of inmates would you be? Oh, no, we would be as we are, as our characters are. We're chosen because we sort of suit mm -hmm. the character. Okay. So I think I would be a little like Red and she'd be like Boo. I disagree with Kate. I'm going to find so? the biggest, biggest bitch in that place and I am going to become her bitch. Are you? That is, I am going to get taken care of in prison. That's what I'm going to do. You think I would survive in prison? Not this prison. <laughs> not, not? not at Litchfield. <laughs> not Litchfield. 500 women. <clears throat> and you in the middle? What? Oh. <laughs> I think a group of women is far more frightening than a group of men, mm -hmm. at least in my experience. Well, I think so too. I mean, because they're always up to something. <laughs> men are never generally up to. I mean, they're up to no good. We all know that. <laughs> yeah, well, but they're yeah, not I up to the stuff that. that women get up to. Women get up to a lot of dangerous stuff. Yeah, I'm actually always get very nervous if I'm getting on a subway train with a group of teenage girls. Oh, those like are the there's worst. a whole big group of teenage well, girls in the subway. High school or grad school? Oh yeah, absolutely. Well, walk why do you think I get nervous? And there'd be a gaggle of girls. It's chilling. Yeah. If there's a gaggle of boys, you just hang out. Whatever, yeah, you yeah, just hang out. Cool. Yeah. So what can we expect from this new season? What can you reveal to me? It's definitely darker. Mm -hmm. I think that it's still funny, but it's much darker, and Genji is ex is exploring things that we need to change within the system in America, okay. the prison system in America. And we're seeing more of that in season four. I think it's okay to say that. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot darker than the previous mm -hmm. seasons because it's, uh, for me, it's still a comedy, but it's a lot darker, of darker, but you know, she's complex, mm -hmm. Chenji Cohen. Mm -hmm. So she's not doing it, it's, it's, it's not a unilateral thing. Mm -hmm. She's going very deep and rather broad. She's uh, certainly examining the prison system, but within that, what happens when you make a prison your home and that home is threatened by outside forces, mm -hmm. namely bureaucratic forces? It's quite fascinating. Mm -hmm. She's well, done this exciting. very deftly. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, Genji Cohen seems like an amazing woman, and I was wondering, what's it like day to day on set? Do you have fun? Or well, are she's you only there for, for sort of two months of the, okay. mm -hmm. of the season. Mm -hmm. And then we're very much on point when she's present, meaning mm -hmm. uh, the, she she's raises strict. the bar. Okay. Uh, she is a bit strict. No, that's fine. And when she's there, you have to... Have you noticed how everybody adheres impeccably to the script? <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, but usually I would say that there's a level of excellence on our set. Well, that's good. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, there has well, to be. But we do have fun. You do have fun? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. We so, all laugh and enjoy it. And we have... I mean, honestly, we have great catering and <laughs> we oh, eat well. And we're all... Part, yeah, we're, we're very spoiled. We're very spoiled <laughs> actors. No question. Have you gotten a chance to enjoy Paris at all? I have. Well, I, I had yeah. a couple of days before we... Yeah? Yeah. What did you do? May I went I to ask? Shakespeare and Company immediately. Ooh, I was mm. there as well. And spent a day there. I mm -hmm. went to Notre Dame, which I love. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I love the old cafes. Le Dumago, Closerie de Lila. <laughs> Did you, you have know, any cakes at Le Demago? Because they come with the trays. I did, I did. Mm. Wonderful. Fantastic, me as well. Um, <laughs> I went, I saw a beautiful piano concert the other day. Oh. Paul Lemoux, do you know him? No, I'm Le sorry. Le Théâtre des Champs Élysées. Oh. Yeah. So you had a really good time. I've done a few yeah, things. She's been, she's been here, so she's gotten lucky. I've also made the, the most of that. I got, in, I got in yesterday and went right to marketing, so tomorrow I'm, I'm off. And I know... And last night you mentioned And me. last night I went out and... Uh, with Titus Burgess from mm -hmm. like Kimmy Schmidt, and we went on one of the boats on the Seine, and we had dinner, and looked at the light. I think uh, 
tomorrow, uh, depending on the day, I'll probably go to the Pompidou and uh, I'm definitely going to go to the Duc de Lombard to see jazz because it's my favorite jazz club. And uh, yeah. yeah, so I'll be walking around and enjoying Paris. We both love Paris. so well, Paris is fantastic. Yeah, yeah Paris is an amazing Paris. city. <laughs> amazing. Well, enjoy it. Thank it you. was good meeting Very you. Very nice talking meeting to you. you.